tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. Shirt came in at a nice smooth 154 and a half. Florian easily made 155. Florian is three years younger, but he has a huge reach advantage. He also has razor sharp David Loazzo type elbows. If you don't believe me, ask Alex Kara Lexis. Lightweight title on the line. The official introductions come from Bruce Buffer. And now, ladies and gentlemen, two men have entered the octagon for a five-round contest to determine who will be the UFC lightweight champion of the world. Introducing first, the man fighting out of the blue corner. He is a mixed martial artist who holds a professional record of seven wins with two losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts, Kenny Ken Florian! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a submission wrestler who holds a professional record of 34 wins with two losses and one draw. Standing five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 154 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Oak Grove, Minnesota, the Muscle Shark, Shark! Gentlemen, this is the lightweight championship of the world. You know the rules. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Most of all, come out ready to fight. Hook them up and let's do it. Lightweight title on the line. A new champion will be born here this evening. Will it be Kenny Florian? Or will it be Sean Shirk? Scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, nice little left hook. Absolutely, and the quick, quick takedown double by Shirk. Quick double leg, cross side. Shirk believes he can overpower Florian, very much like Diego Sanchez did in the Ultimate Fighter 1 finale. Of course, that was a 185-pound fight. But there is a difference strength-wise, and you could see that fight. It would be unfortunate for Florian, but you could see that fight potentially going in the same direction as Diego and Ken Florian. Yeah, you could see it that way, but I don't see the size difference that Diego has over Kenny Florian. I think Kenny Florian is going to be able to deal with this, and, and this is the right weight class for Kenny Florian. Right. Whether or not this is the right cl weight class for Sean Shirk, we don't know yet. This is his first time down at this weight, and uh, you know all of his tough competitions have been up at 170 pounds. I'm sure, being a wrestler, he knows how to cut weight. He's done it right, and you know the fact that he had the sense to do a trial run and see how he was going to feel cutting to 155 tells me a lot he's at least halfway out of the guard of Kenny Florian right now use the arm to free the left leg in the half guard of Florian Shirk actually won two of the five rounds on the judges scorecards against Matt Hughes back at UFC 42 in April of 2003 a second chance for Shirk to be a UFC champion because that was a welterweight championship fight absolutely showing some great wrestling skills beautiful level change and takedown you know, Kenny doing a nice job on the bottom, dynamically rolling around to get back to a guard position. Uh, both these guys are very skilled. No question. Kenny has spent a lot of time back in Boston training, and you know he spent a lot of time working from his back. Any jiu-jitsu practitioner who has a black belt has done it his entire life, but he knew that potentially he would be in this situation. Okay, Shirk using, just trying to overpower. Close guard by Kenny break. Florian. Shirk trying to pound away. Florian doing a pretty nice job of protecting himself. Not exposing any clear shots for Shirk. You've got to watch the Ken Flo elbows, especially from this bottom position, because he can open you up, and Shirk knows that. Shirk's throwing some forearms and elbows of his own here. Our one and only champion prior to tonight at 155 pounds was Jens Palver. Guillotine attempt here by Kenny Florian. Shirk put his head down on the mat and posted to try and pass. Kenny trying to extend Kenny that trying guard. to get a guillotine here. Shirk fighting hands underneath. Shirk passes the half guard. 
He's spending a lot of energy squeezing Shirk, but I'm not sure he has it from the half guard. Look at his, his arm is very loose right now, and Shirk is out. Submission attempts, failed ones, will become frustrating for Kenny Florian, but I'll tell you what, he will continue to try to go for him. Shirk now trying to pass to Mount. Kenny does a nice job of, when he does pass, that being Sean Shirk getting himself back into the guard position. Shirk trying to pull out that leg again. Kenny goes, trying to get full guard, then back to half guard as Shirk passes the left leg. He moves his hips very well on the bottom, shifting his hips from one side to the other to pull those legs back into that guard position, or half guard position. Shirk trying to put some punishment on Kenny Kenflo Florian here in the first round. Now, Kenny said he can win this fight in two places. That's standing or that's in the submission game. He feels the only way Shirk can win it is with his wrestling skills, but right now Shirk is utilizing those. Absolutely. Beautiful takedown really quickly in the first round, and now the rest of the fight. Kenny's been on the bottom, kind of reacting to Shirk and, and, and really allowing Sean Shirk to control the tempo of this fight and the position of this fight. Spin out. And Florian reverses him and ends up on top. Armbar tip by Shirk. Not going to get out. it. Florian now looks for Florian. Oh, nice double legged. <laughs> nice scramble. This These guys is are... really going to test the cardio of both Kenny Florian and Sean Shirk because it's a good pace here in round one. Absolutely. You've got to gain appreciation for some ground fighting here. This is not your static, boring ground fight. Both these guys doing a lot of jockeying, a lot of technical fighting going on here from the top and the bottom position. Shirk relentless in his attack. He has gone a full 25 minutes before here in the octagon. Kenny Florian has not. In fact, his last two fights in the UFC lasted 37 seconds and 1 minute and 46 seconds. Good first round for Sean Shirk. Eddie Bravo is with us here at the octagon. He will help us score this championship fight. There was one of those elbows, and Shirk comes back with his own elbow. Kenny tried to press the head away and bring an elbow in. Kenny controlled in round one, but it doesn't appear as if he was hurt. I think he did a very good job of, of protecting himself, but he was dominated. He allowed Sean to keep that top position. Got on top for a split second, but Sean, very good at scrambling, got right back on top. Sold out Mandalay Bay Event Center, Sean Shirk. You're going to be tired, my friend. He's going to be dying, all right? You're, you're not even tired yet, my friend. Look at that. He's, he has nothing for it. You have nothing for it. Okay, you're doing beautiful. Bring you're him to the fence. Bring him to the fence. Get his head against the fence, okay? Start pushing past the hands just like you do. Be a little bit busier, but when you grab that wrist, boom, all of a sudden bring it up top, all right? When you're doing that push pass, push the gun. Be patient. Okay, be patient. God will lead you. God will tell you what to do. Be patient. Get trust that arm him. under Kenny, all right? You've got to trust the jiu-jitsu. You listen to me? You've got to hit those hips back. Keep that jab going. Let the left go. Don't let the kicks go. go. All right, yeah, go ahead. He's tired too. I understand. Kenny's brother Keith in the corner. Eddie Bravo, your thoughts on round one? Shirk never had Florian in trouble, but he did get a couple takedowns, landed a couple elbows, forearms, hammer fist, and he did pass Florian's guard once. 10-9, um, Sean Shirk. All right, Sean ready? Shirk, in you're Eddie's ready? estimation, wins the first of five five-minute rounds. Very spiritual. Very mentally strong, as we talked about. Kenny Florian, good nice kick, kick by to Florian. the body. And watch, Sean Shirk. Knee. Sean Shirk is keying off of Kenny's jab. He'll throw that jab, and Sean will come right away with a big hook. Nice double leg takedown by Sean Shirk. Shirk in the closed guard, at least in the closed attempt guard of Kenny Florian. Now Kenny has one leg up, one leg under. And the Kenny trying to from work the, the elbow bottom. from the bottom. Somebody's bloody. That was a cut now from. Kenny Florian's elbow on Sean Shirk's head. That's what we talked about, the elbow from the bottom trying position. Trying to work for a triangle position oh, here. he's really cut. Look at the cut on the forehead of Sean Shirk. Kenny Kenflo Florian with those razor sharp elbows that we talked about. He pressed the head away and then released the head and bring the elbow in. Oh, and he a, is wide open. A cut in the scalp of Sean Shirk. And the scalp wounds always tend to bleed more. I'm sure it's not serious to Sean Shirk, but it is going to create a slippery situation. Two, as they would say in Boston, Randy, two wicked elbows. <laughs> Kenny tried to use the fence to change his position, get his hips out. Sean trying to steer him back. And they're going to check the cut. And that's the one thing Shirk was afraid of. The one thing Shirk was afraid of is that this fight would be stopped because of a cut. 
I don't think they're going to stop no, this. I, I agree with you, Randy. Absolutely. I, I'm not saying it is going to be stopped, but right. that's no, the one theory right. he had. He said, i got to watch right. for his elbow. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Let the fight continue. Okay. Hold on. Time out. Time Kenny Florian has Doctor. blood in his eye. So, Doctor. So he's going to have... He's going to have a moment to get set as well. Go over here, Sean. Right over here. You can, can see... You, his eyes you know what it is? It, it's almost eye. like... It's almost like the warrior in which Shirk is has now been wounded by the little guy. You know what? And now this fight's even. Now this fight yeah, is officially is. underway. Watch he the presses, elbow. Presses, presses the head away. Lets the elbow... Bam. Right there. Bam! All right, let's get back on the ground, Sean. Back you know, and, and look at the jump in Florian's step now. Florian. And Shirk has a look of frustration on his face. Nothing they get like back in the same position. Nothing like a little blood to motivate you. Got that right. Again, right away with the elbow again comes Kenny Florian. Might just motivate Sean Shirk, too. He Absolutely. may step it up a notch or two here. And, and he may understand that that, that, that cut could, could worsen. And so perhaps even though he's ready to go 25, he may not be afforded that opportunity. Well, he's got to pick up the tempo. He's got to score. And, and, you know, paybacks are a real bummer. He needs to... There's a yeah, nice shot. Now. now remember, ground and pound, sliding through the guard, as you pointed out, on a bloody opponent actually becomes a little bit easier. Now getting a submission from the bottom because Shirk is going to be sweaty, he's going to be bloody, he's going to be slippery, is going to be more difficult now for the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. More difficult for the submission, but maybe Kenny will use this to his advantage to slip out and get out, get mm -hmm, back up, mm -hmm. get to a more neutral position. And I think this blood is affecting Kenny's vision more than it's affecting Sean Shirk's vision. Well, what's going to happen is that Shirk on, on top is going to basically, the blood's going to bleed right into the face of Kenny Florian. Again, Kenny using the fence diligently to try and change the angle of his hips. Halfway through round number two. A meteoric rise over the last eight. Full mount position by Sean Shirk now. 30 pounds to go for Kenny Florian. Bad position for Florian to be it's in a here. Judo arm triangle, a judo choke. Sean's trying to set up and clamp down on Kenny Florian. This could be in a lot of instances, the beginning of the end. When someone as powerful as Shirk gets a full mount position and passes guard. There's a nice Florian is going to be Florian. able to get out Come of it, it appears. Back. Florian comes back on top. Armbar attempt by Sean Shirk. That's a tough dude, Kenny Florian. Again, like I said, he may not look the part. He may not act the part, but he can play the part. And Kenny Florian's on top of Sean Shirk. See how Sean Shirk responds now. See if he scrambles, creates some space. Looks for that little shot again to come back up on top. Seriously, don't pick the little guy at the end of the bar to start a fight with. You never know. And his brother Keith looks him very much the same as Kenny. Nice and this work. one is back up to the top. Kenny Ken for 14. I see it. I smell it. And I want it. That Watch is the lightweight title. There's that big left hook. Sean Shirk sure keeps trying to key off of Kenny's jab and throw that big left hook. Florian representing all the stars of the Ultimate Fighter series and the popularity of the Ultimate Fighter has been well documented. Double leg again by Sean Shirk. Kenny trying to scramble and keep Sean up. Kenny feels he has the stand-up edge. Kimura attempt there by Kenny. Going over the body of Sean to the far arm. Had to let that go. Kenny owns a bachelor of arts and sciences from Boston College where he majored in none other than communications. Can he do a nice job at preventing Sean from taking him down and making Sean Shirk work here? Sean's spending a lot of energy in on this takedown, carrying a lot of Kenny's weight. I mean, the nasty cut is how Kenny Florian beat Chris Lieben on the show. It's how he defeated Alex Karalexis. And again, this isn't going to lead to a stoppage right now, Randy, but it, it's definitely leaded, It's definitely led to a fight that is much more evenly contested than we saw in the first round. Absolutely. A little more desperation in Sean Shirk and, and, and the smell of blood with Kenny Florian. Kenny doing a nice job to prevent Sean Shirk from putting him on the ground for more than a minute of that, la of that second round. The crowd is loving this lightweight championship fight.
Now Don House will go to work on that cut for Sean Shirk and get that bleeding to stop. Relax your body, Kenny. You gotta relax your body. You gotta listen to me, you understand? You gotta listen to me in there, all right? You're doing great, man. Work on that cuts again. Work on those cuts, you hear me? I don't want you to get overconfident. Work that cut. Work that cut, man. Relax your arms. Relax your cut's in a good spot. Don't worry about it, all right? Both rounds are yours. Both rounds are yours. Focus on your breathing and slow it down. All right, they're all yours. I want you to keep pressure on. It's a you nice little cut on Sean Shirk's head. When you're starting to go for that pass, all right? He's gonna Take a look at this little right elbow. Okay. Presses the head away, creates the space, lets the head go. The head's gonna run right into this nice little pointed elbow of Kenny Florian. One, two, that's the one that did the damage right there. Instantly see the blood coming out. Round three. Scheduled for five. Right away, Sean Shirk wow. bleeding already. They the couldn't stop that cut. Round hadn't even started. It is a dandy nice deep cut up above the temple into the hair of Sean Shirk. Florian trying to press forward. Eddie Bravo gave round one to Sean Shirk, 10-9. Couple of... Even though Florian opened up that cut on Sean Shirk's head, he never had him hurt. I gave that round to Shirt for the takedown, the guard pass, and the mount. 2018 Sean Shirt. Interesting because the corner of Sean Shirk said the same thing. You've won the first two rounds. Eddie Bravo agrees that the first two rounds have gone to Sean Shirt. You saw that left hook followed by a nice double leg by Sean Shirt. Again, he's keying off that jab with Kenny Florian. The one thing Shirk is going to do this time, he's going to... He's going to try to avoid the elbows of Kenny Florian. And, he's, and he's, he's in a different position with his head where Florian will not be afforded the opportunity, at least at this point, to try to push up an elbow. Kenny doing a nice job of scrambling here, trying to get up. Oh, and big shot there by Shirk. Hammer fist there by Sean Shirk. And he doesn't look beaten down, though. Yeah. And this is a powerful, powerful young man. I mean, he's got mad huge strength. He took Matt Hughes the distance. He won two rounds against a future UFC Hall of Famer and the most dominant fighter ever at 170 pounds. Well, no question, Sean Shirk is a very, very powerful man. Very explosive, the great takedowns, the dominant control on top. But I don't see any disheartenedness in Kenny. Kenny's a warrior. He's got a lot of heart. You're not going to see him give up anytime soon. Using the fence again. Trying to change the angle with his hips. Find a way to squirt out from underneath Sean. Sean sitting on that bottom leg in the half guard, trapping Kenny. Kenny's got to do something to reverse the, the direction in which this third round is headed right now. It's very similar to the first two rounds and very controlling by Sean Shirt. Sean controlling the positions, landing the shots. Nice elbow there by Sean Shirk from the top. Short. Kenny trying to work that elbow again. And, and remember the corner of Kenny Florian, Randy, talked about trying to work on that cut. So not only is he going to try to work another elbow, but he's going to try to work it in the same area, in the same vicinity of the one that he already opened up. Try to worsen it a little bit. Make it look Find a little bit more like the one on Carol Lexus's yeah, nose. absolutely. Find a way to make it bigger, make it bleed more. Make it more of a risk for Sean Shirk in getting this fight Come on, guys. Fight show stopped. me something. Show me something. Shirk's got to stay busy or Mazzagatti will stand him up, and Sean Shirk's doing exactly that. Nice elbows by Sean Shirk. I don't expect to see Kenny Florian gas. I'd, I'd be shocked if Kenny gassed. But the fact of the matter is, is like I've said before, Sean Shirk has gone 25 minutes. He's got side control now. Shirk in another great position. Kenny... Trying to spin away. Shirk able to pass guard. Again, it gets slippery. It's a little easier to move around. Absolutely. Kenny gives up his back here. Shirk trying to get his hooks in. He wants to secure this back position. Look for Kenny to roll from here. This round has been all Sean Shirk. Arco Arena in Sacramento. Our home for UFC 65. Guy's very slippery here. Sean, Kenny trying to get hand control, maybe stand up from here. No, he rolls. Rolls again, but he's, he's not rolling out of danger. And Shirt's continuing to work on Kenny Florian.
The corner of Kenny Florian yelling to tell him to try to continue to work the elbows. But Shirk's got his head in a position where it's more out of danger, he's doesn't keeping, he, Randy? He's keeping it down safe from the chest of Kenny, not allowing Kenny to work his hands up under and create distance, create space, where he could drop another elbow in Sean's face. Stop, guys, let's stand up. All right, they're going to stand it up with a little over 40 seconds remaining in the third round. Both guys are a bloody mess at this Absolutely. Point. It's amazing what one little head wound will do. I mean, he's got a, maybe a nice body kick by Kenny Florian. But what Sean Shirk's waiting for is that shoot, is that opportunity to uh, have another shoot. Yep. Good Take good. a shot at the double leg. Take him down. Watch the... Oh, Kenny trying to come over over the top. Big overhand attempt by Kenny. Countering very nicely. Trying to chuck the Iceman Liddell's book. Shot by Kenny there. Oh, Knees. good knee. Oh, he connected with them. Oh, big flurry by Shirk. High kick by Florian. Another high kick, and the round comes to conclusion. What a finish of round number three. They are on their feet here in Las Vegas. Beautiful. Nice action by both ass. guys. We're kicking his ass. Arms on your side. We're kicking him. They're all yours. All right, they're all yours. We're kicking his ass. We're kicking his ass. Shots. You got to keep Eddie busy on the, on the ground, well, okay, Sean? Just Florey keep busy. Florey landed some nice shots, shots yeah. there at the end of the Florey round, but go. most Florey of that go. round was all and Sean Shirk. He got the takedown. He landed Florey some forearms, hammer fists. Great ground and pound by Sean Shirk. 30-27 so far. Close up those arms. On top. It's good? He's fine, yeah. All right. Kenny, when you get on the grease, get easy on the grease. Set for round number four. On, Blue Corner, let's go. What a dynamic Clean finish to water. round three of this UFC water. lightweight championship fight. Right. We're into championship territory now. Exactly. Right, you, ready? you ready? Bring it on. Uncharted waters for Kenny Florian. Again, Shirk bleeding before the round even starts. Nice inside, inside kick. leg kick by Sean Shirk. And he's looking high again. Shirk's keeping that right hand up, doing a great job of keeping his hands up. And he's 5'10", Shirk is 5'6", so getting that high kick to the liver is not bad range-wise, but Shirk again keeping his hands in great position. Kenny avoids the takedown. Nice scramble by Kenny to keep from being taken down. Beautiful, explosive, slow shot by Sean Shirk. Shirk keeps his hands in a great position, Randy, doesn't he? He sure does. Keeps him right up covering that head. And he'd be better if you're 5'6". <laughs> Kenny conceded that one a little bit. He little bounced bit. off the fence. I don't think he wanted to, but he kind of got a little off balance. This is not going to work for Kenny Florian. And he's absolutely got to make something happen. Can't afford to spend another whole round on his back here being dominated. Not only in position, but in, you know, in just the energy of the fight is dominated by Sean Shirk. He may already, if the judges agree with Eddie Bravo, he may already be into that territory where submit, knock out, or be beaten. Or make this cut bad enough that a doctor may want to think Excellent about point. stopping this fight. But I just, at the place of the cut, I just don't see that happening. And the, and the nice thing for Sean Shirk is that, yeah, there's some blood working, but it's not directly above, like on the bridge of the nose. Joe and I talked a lot about that. As you know, Randy goes right into the eyes and affects the vision. It's kind of to the side of the forehead of Shirk, so it's not directly leaning and, and leaking, if you will, into his eyes. I think it's actually affecting Kenny Florian yeah. more than it is Sean Shirk being on the bottom. It's getting in Kenny's face. It's making Sean very slippery and hard for Kenny to hang on to him for any position. Kenny still showing that warrior mentality, surviving what has been a pretty healthy muscle shark attack here in the octagon and again he's past guard he's got side control his elbows short little elbows by sean kenny swimming back inside gonna give his back up again i think and look for a better position here well he's gotten up from this position before shirk is going to take his back he's going to try and stand up looking for a switch i'd be surprised if he hits sean shirk with a wrestler switch little mouse into kenny flying right eye well, shortly after his disappointing loss to Matt Hughes, Sean Shirk actually couldn't get another fight. He got out of the game for a little while, went back to working 9-5, to five, didn't like it very much. Yeah, he, he retired from yep. fighting. He's having trouble securing any good fights. And 
Like a huge family. Absolutely. That's really what it's about at the end of the day for all of us. Crowd trying to spur Kenny flowing on. Now, he would be the more recognizable figure, at least from our new fans, because of the popularity of the Ultimate Fighter. Absolutely. Sean Shark, Sean Shirk, though, pardon me, the muscle shark, is uh, very familiar to the fans of the MMA world. What can Ken Flo do, Randy? He's got to use his legs. He's got to try and get more dynamic here, create some space, use the slipperiness to his advantage to squirt out from underneath Sean Shirk. Sean Easier actually said almost than has done. a leg out. Easier said than done. Sean Shirk's got a great base, hard to move, very powerful. Let's see this fight standing sooner by the referee and lack of activity than, than probably Kenny finding a way out from underneath Sean. Trying Kenny to use trying the to fence. around again. But Shirk is just relentless. A great pursuit, just stays right on him. Good pressure. There's an elbow from Kenny. He's going to try to push that head up and deliver an elbow like he was able to do in round number two. And, and you know what? You just saw the motion from Florian to the referee, Steve Mazzagatti, to say, hey, he's not doing anything. Stand us up. Oh, big elbow. And another one. And another. That was a dandy. That third one landed good. And he continues to pour it on. It won't get stood up if uh, Shirk stays busy as such. This fight may very well go the distance. 25 minutes. Middleweight title fight still ahead tonight. Rich Franklin, Anderson Silva scheduled for five five-minute rounds. They stand them up. But not until Shirk scores some more valuable points. Shirk wiping the blood out of his right eye. Inside kick. See if Kenny tries to go high again. Maybe he'll disguise the high kick. He nice did. kick body into the body. Shot by Kenny Florian. Very nice kick into the body by Kenny Florian. You can hear it slap all the way around the arena. Randy, you get those hands up. You think it's a high kick. You leave those ribs exposed, and Kenny took advantage. Your Keep thoughts on round number four. Another ground and pound round for Sean Shirk. He even passed Florian's guard twice. Um, Florian's going to need a miracle to win this fight. He's going to need a knockout or a submission. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. 40-36, Sean Shirk. You got you to gotta knock out or submission, Kenny. You got to knock out or submission. You hearing me? The fight, the great fight here. You feel it. Everything. All right, here. Five minutes. He's going to go for it. Inside the legs. Wow. Relentlessly attacking Kenny Florian. Very dominant on top. Beautiful elbows. Perfect ground and pound by Sean Shirk. Fifth and final round. You heard Mark Delagrati in the corner of Kenny Florian saying, all right, just as Eddie talked about, just as you and I discussed, knock him out or submit him or you're going to lose. Nice top, take top, down. Top take down there. Very nice. Explosive takedown by Sean Shirk. Kenny's a survivor, but if the fight continues to go as it has for four rounds, he will not be the new lightweight champion. He's got to really make something drastic happen in this round to finish this fight. But this is part of the beauty of Sean Shirk is that he is very controlling. He is very much like Matt Hughes, very much like you are, Randy, again, in your fight against Tito Ortiz. You've controlled and controlled and controlled and even patted him on the backside a little bit. <laughs> well, he's a methodical, very aggressive, continuous pressure. You don't get a chance to breathe or move or, or do anything. He's just right on you. He gives you no space. And he trying to work the elbow again. There's an armbar attempt by Kenny Florian. It's going to be so hard right now. They're so sweaty. They're Very so slippery. slippery. Kenny's going to try to push off with that left leg. Now he gives it up. Goes into the closed guard. Referee's going to warn here, I think. I was actually going to ask you how frustrating this is for Kenny Florian, but you were never Stop really controlled for 25 up. minutes in your career, so... <laughs> Perhaps you don't know. <laughs> I'm sure that it is very frustrating for Kenny. You know, he wants this very badly. Oh, he tried the Superman overhand right. 
Yeah, Kenny's got to try to be as creative as possible. Could see a spinning back kick, saw a high kick. See if he tries to disguise it for the body again. Nope, high kicks again. Shirt knows he's three minutes away from becoming the new lightweight champion. 155 is back, and this is why we are showcasing these great athletes at 155 pounds. High kick one more time. Oh, good body shot. Shirt waits patiently. Tries the guillotine by Kenny Florian. Kenny Florian with everything he has right now. Trying to choke out Sean Shirt. I don't think he has it deep. Shirt patiently trying to, to catch his breath. Look at him. Methodically waiting. And wait and see if Kenny adjusts. And when he adjusts, he'll try and pop his head out of there. Try and get past Kenny's legs. Kenny has to have his legs to do his choke. With his arms on his arms. Right now, Randy, Kenny Florian. Trying to overcome what would seem to be an insurmountable deficit. And Shirk is going to get out. Shirk sucking him under. Kenny's not going to let him off the hook. Just put him in the air here. Oh, Kenny grabs the fence. That's be a yellow. Oh, oh big my. slam. Right down on his head. Huge slam by wow, Sean I'm Shirt. I'm surprised, actually, that didn't knock out Kenny Florian. And Kenny was about to get a warning for grabbing the fence there. He got warned verbally once and then grabbed it again to keep from being taken down. He knew he had to let go. And when he did, Sean Shirt just planted him. What a huge takedown there. Or a good six, eight feet from that, and I felt the impact of that. Very nice takedown by Sean Church. Sean now using the slipperness to his advantage. Passes to half guard. Look to him to pass the mount here. Shaking Kenny Florian off of him. He has one minute away from becoming the new lightweight champion, Sean Shirt. Full mount. Kenny Florian's in serious trouble here. He's being smothered. I'm in shock. Very much like Matt Hughes did to Carlos Newton that he didn't knock him out with that takedown. Because his head absolutely bounced off the canvas. Kenny exploding, trying to get out. Trying to make something happen. Sean back in on the double. His brother, Keith Florian, just at the top of his lungs right now, screaming, telling Kenny he's got to finish it here. 30, 30 seconds, seconds left. Shirk's going to sneak out again. He's going to pull it out. Awfully slippy for this damn submission. To mention, not much of a neck to grab there. It's a Matt Hughes-type neck. Sean Shirk is going to be the new lightweight champion. There is a such thing as a second chance. Big elbows by Shirk. We have gone the distance, and the judges will render their decision. What a battle between Kenny Florian and Sean Shirk. Double leg, picks him up. Kenny grabs the fence. He knows he's going to get a verbal warning there. As soon as he lets go, big Watch his head bounce. slam. Bam! Oh, my goodness. The double head bounce. That was the biggest pump I ever heard. I'm surprised he didn't get knocked out. Eddie Bravo. Well, you got to give it up to Kenny Florian for trying to pull that out. Um, he had an arm bar attempt, a guillotine attempt. But I give that round also to Sean Shirk for another dominating yeah, performance. A complete shutout. 50-45, Sean Shirk. Let's recap what was a title fight that went the distance. Round two, the wicked Boston elbow of Kenny Florian. Scored points there, opened up Shirk, but Shirk still was able to overcome and control. They worked the cut as much as they could. It continued to bleed profusely. End of round three was action-packed. Combination by Shirk, high kick by Florian. Round four, more of the same as we saw in rounds one, two, and three.
Ground and pound, assault of Sean, the muscle shark shirt. Good short elbows. And in round five, right when you thought maybe Kenny Foran was gonna try to pull something up, he gets up, grabbed the fence, but then went for a big time ride, and his head bounces off the canvas. The judges have rendered their decision. Who will be the new lightweight champion? Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Tony Weeks scores the bout 49-46. Jeff Mullen, 49-46. And Cecil Peoples, 50-48. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and now, the new UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Muscle Shark, Sean Shark!